Okay, today we're going to show you how to clean a piston. This is an automotive piston. As you can see, it is heavily damaged and it is no good to anyone except us. We're going to clean this piece up. The rings are seized in the landing area. The rod is seized up. It has had water on it at some point in time. We're going to clean this piston up. And we're going to show you how fast and easy it is, how it does not damage the part or the piece. And we'll zoom in and get some of the areas, uh, some of the machining areas on the skirt. And of course, you can see some of the dome too. We're going to show you how we clean the rod up. Uh, a lot of people ask, does it remove corrosion from a ferrous material with a glass bead slurry? And yes, it does. It does it very easily. It does it very quickly. And it's something you can do in your shop with this tool every single day. And it's very, very easy to do. This is going to take us a couple minutes tops. Um, you probably get the gist by now that it's only a couple minutes for these smaller parts and pieces. And that is so true. Uh, it's, it's not a very long process. It's not lengthy at all. Uh, it is quick and easy. And we're going to show you how to do that. So look at the corrosion. You can see the white specks. Of course, corrosion here on the steel and the aluminum. But these rings are seized up. And this piston is junk to us, but we're going to show you how fast and easy we can clean it up. So let's throw it in the machine and see what we can do. Okay, we're going to show you how we can clean this piston up, both the ferrous and non-ferrous materials. Again, this is a junk piston, but we're going to show you how quick and easy this can be, how delicate it is on surfaces like pistons, which need to hold very tight tolerances, and how you can clean these different metals. Uh, we're using a very fine glass bead slurry. We're operating at about 40 to 50 working PSI, and we are in the 800P series machine. And so let's get busy and see what we can do with the piston. Okay, that was a quick video of the skirt, and we're actually blasting over some of the seized up rings here. Let's go ahead and move on to the rod here real quick, and then we'll move to the dome. how clean that is like new let's move on to the top dome here and then we'll uh, finish this other side up and pull it out and show you what we've got
there's half. How nice that is. So there's the half that we did, the half that's not been done. We're going to pull this out, show you what it looks like, and uh, you be the judge. Okay, guys, back after blasting the, the piston here. And here's the skirt that we blasted. Of course, over here is before, and then here's after. Look how clean and incredibly smooth this is. I'm going to try to see if you can see the grooves. You can still see the grooves on the skirt here, how we did not remove those, how we were not removing material. We're cleaning the topography only of the surface. That's how we're still cleaning in these very small pitted areas on the dome. Again, before and after, we didn't tape this. We just blasted a, a section here so you could see how clean and smooth this is. Let's look at the, uh, the ring area so you can still see the grooving here in the piston from the machine, the machining marks. Again, we're cleaning the topography, the peak and the valley. We're not damaging the surface. We're not heating it up. We're not embedding material in here. Again, this was at 40 to 50 working PSI. And oh, by the way, we're able to clean ferrous and non-ferrous materials at the same time. You're not going to have cross-contamination issues. With this, if you're prepping for a coating like a ceramic or a dry film lubricant, you're not going to want to use a glass bead slurry. You're going to want to use a, a very fine aluminum oxide to do that. But this is for cleaning only slash finishing. We wanted to show you the options and examples here. But uh, any of you guys that are rebuilding engines on a daily or weekly basis, you can see how much time this would actually save you. Hey, if you want to come see this in person, let us know. We are located in Hickory, North Carolina. We are open 8 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, please give us a call to schedule an appointment to drop by. We have plenty of machines for you to demo, and we have plenty of stuff that we can talk about concerning your application. Or if you want to see a test part of your own, send it in. We'll be glad to shoot it for you, get you the video. Uh, but again, you're always welcome here too. So thanks for watching. Please share the video, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you need more information, just let us know. We're here to help. Thanks for watching.